In this tutorial we will add interactivity on our 3D PDF files. You can switch between materials, hide and show, play animation and many other choices. This tutorial was broken into five parts so we can cover each section as much as needed. Feel free to skip the parts you already mastered. The main highlights in order to have an interactive 3D PDF are 1. Assembling and preparing 3D model 2. Setting up scene states 3. Adding actions 4. Designing the template 5. Linking the template to the model settings and exporting so let's start with the assembling and preparing of the 3D model. If you think you are good enough in this part please proceed to the next tutorial. This section varies depending on what the final output is going to be. But let's carry on with the comment preparations. So a model was just imported, depending on how it was exported and modeled. If you encountered a fragmented model situation like the one we have here, then it's advised to reassemble it. Like this window fin, we need each fin to be a hole when selecting it so we can set the scene states and actions properly, and faster. As you can see the model parts are grouped and broken in a way that doesn't serve us here. I will first break it entirely then reassemble it. broken successfully. Composer has a dimensional character when it comes to selection. You can do it the way it suits you best. As for this tutorial I will choose the method that's faster. Follow it along if you want or skip to reassembling. All the following were covered in previous tutorials. We managed to grab all the fins. Now we can isolate them. Okay, now we will open the object tree to have a profound understanding of what's going on behind the scenes. We will also need it to rename our new arrangements. Renaming parts will accelerate your work. Make sure to provide meaningful names when reassembling. Hold Alt, and then select. The rubber band selection will ensure that no fragments are left behind. Hold Alt and drag away from any assembly. This will create a new assembly. Dragging over another assembly will add it onto it, and we don't want that. Let's do it again, so we can get the hang of it. Hold Alt, then select. Then hold Alt and drag the highlighted objects in the object tree away. Go to Properties then Rename. Keep attention to avoid dragging a highlighted assembly. It may be containing other objects you don't want to include in this assembly. Only drag the red icons. After doing this to the whole fins, 
there lays one issue, which is the fin is fragmented. We will merge it so it becomes a whole single piece. We are turning it to a whole piece. So when adding actions and scene states you will only have to add it to one piece, otherwise, you may have to repeat it several times, or you may have dead spots when clicking on the 3D PDF. This can be done through the object tree panel. First select the assembly called Fin1, or whatever name you just called it, then hit the merge for material icon. Merging was successful, it stopped on two pieces, because a single fin has two material slots. This only merges per slot, here I want to cut the work to half by turning it to a single slot. Select a slot, then hit the delete icon, you will be asked to pick another slot. Hit yes then select the other one. Great! Now merge per material again and the fin will become a single piece. The fin is almost ready but, because of the nature of how doors and fins work, I will have to place the pivot in the edges. We will snap the pivot in the same way as shown in the wall clock example. That example will be found in a previous video. Anyways, this object is too dark to see the edges that Composer will generate. The solution is to switch to wireframe. Now go ahead and practice on the rest of the fins and doors, I'll leave you to that. So that's all over, you can do this with the entire doors and whatever you intend to do. Remember that, this part is necessary for adding on model clicking such as clicking on doors or so. But as you've seen in the sample previously, we did change the wall material by clicking on an icon. This template clicking can be done on unassembled fragmented models. That's why the roof and walls were left unassembled. On the next tutorial, we will be setting the scene states. Have fun!